Hey there, I want to thank Christian Nuwaye, or is it Nuwe or Nuwe? I don't know the right way to pronounce it. Yeah, that's a really bad pun. But you got me to think about things. You got me looking up a lot of definitions of words, realizing I don't even have the colloquial definitions of some words. I just had some definitions that I had made assumptions on based off of the context and the way that those words get used. So I, I appreciate that. Uh, words like neoliberal. Uh, and then I also looked up neoconservative and learned how that they have a number of things in common, really, really awful things in common. Uh, but the main thing that I learned was that I had the definition of globalism wrong. I didn't know it was so closely, closely tied to capitalism. I didn't know that it was about pretty much trying to spread uh, free market capitalism across the globe. I didn't know that. And uh, I had more of an idea that it was more like Agenda 21, which is a more socialist type of system that really, really tries to look at the people. Now, I understand that socialism can go horribly wrong, and it can never work out the way that it works out on paper. Um, but... I think eventually when capitalism starts to crumble because of automation, uh, we'll probably end up having to look at socialism more and try to figure out a way to get it to work for everyone. We can't artificially end capitalism without there being such horrible fallout from it that it's, it's just not worth it. It really isn't. It's, it's, a, it's, it's horrible to try to artificially end capitalism. We need to let automation, let it crumble and the people can see the problems with it and then we'll find a better answer. I think eventually the world will be under either one government or a very small handful of governments. You know, probably less than six, probably two or three or something like that. But that'll be beyond my lifetime. Christian Nawaye also uh, gave me a link to a video that I think is well worth watching. I can't remember his name now, but it's a comedian talking about nationalism, and I just thought it was great. And I'll leave a link to that in the description bar. There are some people who have a real problem with the fact that I put my foot in my mouth a lot. You know, I think it's good to put my foot in my mouth. Put my foot in my mouth as often as I can. I, li I think of uh, Alanis Morissette's... Uh, I can't remember the name of the song now, but uh, she has a song where she says, you know, uh, you should basically put your foot in your mouth anytime you, you get a chance because it allows you to learn. You live, you learn. That was That's the thing. That's how that works. If you have a problem with that and you, you, don't, you think someone should just be right all the time... And, well, that you should have been right in the first place. That's the kind of shit that I was raised with. Oh, well, if you make... You're, you're not allowed to make any, any mistakes. If you do something wrong the, f the first time, you should never be allowed to do it again. That's the kind of shit that that comes from. That's one of the things that I don't like very much about what comes from some, some of the feminist mindsets. It pisses me the fuck off. There's a, there's a diehard feminist who, who would made, made a comment on my vid one of my videos recently saying, you put your foot in your mouth all the time, you're just a pathetic da 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 and I'm like, you know, you've got to put your foot in your mouth if you're going to learn. I mean, you can learn in the, the, the scholarly sort of way and just study, 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 but do you... <laughs> then all you're really able to do at that point is spew things out the exact same way you learned them. It doesn't... You're not able to sift it into... You're not able to recompile it into your whole mindset all to, all together. So you got to make mistakes. That's just how it goes. If you have a problem with that and you just can't stand watching me make mistakes again and again, well, you know, you don't have to watch my videos. So anyway. <laughs>